Good morning, my lovely friends. Welcome, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for visiting. I have daily vlogs, um, loads of fashion information, beauty, style. So hit the subscribe button if you would like to find out more. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you everyone for watching, <laughs> for clicking on this video. Today I just want to talk to you about intermittent fasting and I am going to exercise this morning as well. Um, I'm just trying a slightly different approach. I just love experiment with my body and just find out the ways um, that I can help you. Also how to lose weight, how to tone up. So I'm trying a different approach now, which is, I'm not sure that you heard about Tracy Anderson. Tracy Anderson has exercise and video but it's slightly different than anything else so there's no guidance there's no talking through the video it's most it's between kind of dancing and exercising and uh, she advised to exercise at least five if not seven days a week to see um fast results and i've tried her class a 40 minute class for the beginners and my bomb was sore so much after so i feel that it definitely could be very beneficial and i felt better next day i felt a little bit more kind of like toned um which is fantastic to feel just after one day so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to the class a class with her this morning this class is free i signed up for the free trial as i want to try first it's about 110 dollars um, per month um so for the moment i'm just going to leave the link below for you and um, where you can get a free subscription um but after that yeah, it's about 110 dollars so i'm still going to think about it but i think it's going to be worth it 110 dollars to be honest even for a month to try it and do it with her and see how your body change because i really need to tone up i feel i am really out of shape um not toned and that's my goal um in the meantime of course as well remove a body fat as much as i can um, just to reach my kind of like um, ideal weight that I was before that I'm missing and I would love to be and that's what I feel uh, the best myself at <laughs> so now I'm gonna do the class and then I just really need to chat to you about my intermittent fasting my um, experience with it good and bad um, a little bit of information and things that you might be aware of before you start is it really worth it or not but let's start from exercise, lovely and healthy and beautiful um, sunny morning. Let me just show you how a beautiful day it is today. like a new person after having a shower, exercise. Oh, what a beautiful, absolutely amazing morning. I think we're gonna to have today 23 degrees. So I'm planning in the afternoon, spend a little bit of time in the garden. I was in the garden yesterday, I burned myself a little bit. I was planting potatoes, um, just to relax and kind of listen to audiobooks. And my hair looks very, very fine today, which I apologize for. I forgot to apply my favorite styling cream from American Oil, so I'm gonna keep looking and, <laughs> and the rear view um, and try to keep fixing them. I just don't like this kind of feathery effect because I did not blow dry my hair, just let them dry naturally after washing and they kind of feel very flat as well and very fine. Um, so I need to I think I need to grow my hair back. I'm not sure. I love long hair. I love um, bobs as well. I just cannot make a decision about it. But anyway, <clears throat> intermittent fasting, as I promised, I need to give you feedback on it. And also exercise that I was doing this morning. I feel that you do sweat but when you're not out of breath and it's more straightened and sculpting which i'm really really looking forward to you can see that how much more i can sculpt as well how much actually weight i still carry i really hope my skin is gonna bounce back if i lose that weight um 
about intermittent fasting and I'm going to do a diet separately. Um, I just want to chat to you about intermittent fasting. I'm going to leave link below as well to a video where I take my intermittent fasting more kind of like a science and detailed information from. Um, he has absolutely amazing website not only about me intermittent fasting but also keto diet um, and love 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 listen to his great kind of insight and information. Today I just want to give you more kind of my own experience with it than this kind of like a science behind it <laughs> um, just to let you know like does it work or is not working what to kind of to expect I hope I will try to uh, fit everything into videos um, because there's so much that I want to tell you and I just really, really hope I'm not going to forget. But if I do, I can put more information for you in my next video. But anyway, quickly, just in case if some of you don't know, intermittent fasting is um, a, literally a method um, <laughs> that you do eating a food, consuming food within a certain amount of time, for example, for eight hours, you have eight hour window of, of eating food, and then for 16 hours, you're not eating. And some of you may say, well, this is just so difficult, this is not for me, how is that possible? A lot of us actually do in it. For example, if I go, um, and if I finish my last meal in the evening at six o'clock um, in the evening, Six o'clock in the morning, it's already 12 hours, and another six hours or four hours on top of that, on top of that it means I just don't eat breakfast. So my favorite is between 18 hours of not eating, <laughs> and um, then um, also about 20 hours of not eating during the day. So 18 hours of not eating, six hours eating, 20 hours, not eating and a four hour window of food. Now, this is something that it's quite, I think, um, misunderstood and I misunderstood at the time as well. I thought if I just do intermittent fasting and eat as normal, I'm gonna have my uh, lovely takeaway or pizza in my eating window, I'm still gonna lose the weight, but unfortunately this is not the case. Um, the only results that I've noticed is when I'm not eating for it, the ideal for me is 18 hours and then the, the window of six hours where I can eat the food, I still consume under 1200 calories. Um, please uh, bear in mind that I'm petite as well, I don't need as many calories, I'm slim as well, um, I'm 53 kg at the moment, um, therefore I don't need as much food as maybe male as well, someone much taller than me, um, so our kind of like a calorie restriction could be completely different. Also, our age could be different. Um, as a 42 years old person, um, a woman, um, it's much harder for us to lose weight after 40 and we have to take more drastic measure than someone for, let's say, if you in your 20s. Um, this is only experience. In, in no way I'm suggesting for you to, that you have to lose weight or you have to do intermittent fasting. It's just my own experience that I want to give you a little bit of a feedback and might help you as well to make a decision to start intermittent fasting or not. So my favorite eating window would be this 18 by six hours. And um, what's happened when, let's say for example, for 16 hours what I did not eat. Um, for 16 hours I've noticed not eating um, make not much difference to my body. I feel very same, I didn't, during even fast, I just, I just not, not notice anything. 18 hours, after about 18 hours n not eating, I feel more my stomach, my tummy is a little bit more kind of sucked in and definitely 20 hours, I, I that's when I feel I want to record a video of Reese Hall and show you everything that I bought because my tummy is so sucked in. Now, different again, feeling different way your body um, feels, behaves at 16, 18 and 20 hours. At 16 hours, as I mentioned, I feel nothing. I don't feel stressed. I feel okay. I feel slightly hungry. And the hunger comes in the kind of stages for every about, I would say about three hours for me personally. And then after half an hour disappears or I suppress my hunger with, let's say, green tea or just the black tea. And I'm gonna let you know what you can have while you're fasting as well um, in a second. But so within 16 hours, I feel no other kind of um, 
changes in my body um adrenaline spice or anything like that i don't i just feel slight hunger and then i suppress it with my green tea um or coffee which again we need to talk about that in one second um after 18 hours i slightly feel my adrenaline start to kick in and i become a little bit more tired after 18 hours and that's that's the more difference and the more kind of tummy feels like more sucked in tummy but the 20 hours it's something that i love the benefit of it the feel of toned um and this sucked in tummy feeling but my adrenaline is going so high that i i am becoming a little bit more anxious and i've noticed affect my sleep I'm not able to sleep properly um, after 20 of hour fast because I feel my adrenaline still is very high and still I'm running on the high adrenaline for about six hours at least after, if not longer. I did also 24 hour fast and again, I do not recommend it if you have any um, heart issue like I feel I have. I sometimes get little palpitations and we have a heart history in the family. Therefore, I'm, I'm actually really careful about it. After 24 hour fast, um, I felt my heart was really, really racing. And I, 20 to 24 hours, I feel start to be a little bit dizzy, lightheaded as well. And I feel my body does not tolerate that too much. Therefore, 20 hours from now on, I might let myself to have maybe once every two weeks, once a week or a little bit less. And I don't think I ever gonna go back to 24 hour. I did extend 24 hour for another additional, I think two or three hours. And I woke up in the middle of the night, very, very dizzy, very lightheaded. I barely made it to the kitchen because uh, I just my heart was racing and um, therefore I went to the kitchen I have something to eat and I barely made it to the kitchen I have to go down the, those <laughs> steps from our bedroom and I barely made it I was really I, I thought I'm gonna faint but I quickly I have a slice of toast and I lie down and within about 10-15 minutes everything kind of just become to normal um, when I my body finally my I believe insulin kicks in my sugars kicks in and i felt better so therefore personally i cannot this is not something that i could recommend also any fast if you have any stomach issues like i do which you probably know from my previous videos i've also noticed this might affect any stomach issues that might have or trigger some allergies which triggered for me but i didn't know about um i am a person that um, sometimes if I don't eat in the morning, I get stomach pain. It's like, um, I feel it's like a bacteria overgrowing in my stomach. I'm not sure what it is, but I get a stomach pain and then I have to eat and I feel better um, because I was not tested for it. Therefore, I don't want to give you more details, but if you do have any stomach issues, this might not be for you and you have to be really, really careful with intermittent fasting. Um, also what's happened when you break in a fast what you break in a fast with it's very important and that's what happened to me as well I broke a fast a few times with two eggs which I love and I feel that was my a problem I trigger an allergy to eggs which I didn't know I have um, this is actually annoying me so much <laughs> Um, so from now on, I'm actually I stop eating eggs and I feel much better. And I would love to eat eggs again. I'm gonna come back to eating, but I'm gonna be very very careful when I'm fasting, not to break the fast with the eggs. Also, um, it's not recommended to break the fast, let's say with the peanut butter or a fish shellfish. That something that might trigger your allergies. You have to be really really careful about with. For the weight loss, which is the most important and probably that's what you're looking for, the only weight loss that I notice I receive from intermittent fasting when I combine this with the diet. You can combine intermittent fasting with any diet you wish so. You can combine with keto, which is amazing. I did it once. 
and also lower calorie calorie restrictions as well and many many other diet and that's how you actually just trigger that weight loss i did notice any difference as going to a bathroom to a toilet um that let's say i was going more or less but i do notice that exercise help my digestive system to to go to a bathroom so for example after dinner um when I finish eat at six o'clock, half six the latest. I go for a walk after. I felt that after a walk, I immediately have to go to a bathroom. Yet in the morning when I'm fasting, I don't have to go to the bathroom. So just the things like that, your body might react to it completely different than me. So what I could recommend for personally, uh, for myself, <laughs> hopefully for you as well, 18 hours, personally it's it's very good fast and 20 hours is when i feel more toned but for adrenaline for this kind of dizziness 18 hours is my personal sweet spot of fast i'm fasting now actually as we speak um there is something that will help you to fast which is absolutely fantastic and amazing application that i'm using every single day this is an application that will send a um, reminder to you to drink water, to start fast, to end your fast as well. It will keep your scores also of um, when you're fasting, um, give you the hour window as well when you're fasting, what's happened with your body as well. So let's say from now, from this hour, you're burning fast. From this hour, you're entering autophagy stage when your cells, you have a higher cell turnover. And the fasting is something fantastic, the cell turnover. The longer you fast, of course, better benefits. Um, cell turnover for the reason that let's say if you prolong your living you you want to uh, be more healthy have more glowing skin um, better hair <laughs> and um, be more hyper focused as well when you're fasting then longer your fast is then better benefits but as I notice for my personal reasons after 24 hours I did not notice any significant uh, difference in, for example, weight loss or anything like that. It was more actually negative effect for me personally as a heart racing, being dizzy, being weak, not being able to sleep. So 24 hours fast for longer for the moment, it does not suit me. I would say that I am fasting, um, experience in fasting. I think I fast over, I'd say about a thousand hours or more. Um, for the last um, year, I would say, or even a bit longer. And I did find it uh, very beneficial for the feeling of it, for the help with the weight loss, the faster weight loss, and I'm really, really loving it. And I definitely would recommend to try. Um, and for me, ideally, is to start, stop eating as early as possible in the evening. And it's easier for me than survive next day because you're sleeping for about eight, nine hours and you're fasting at that state already. And what you can drink, what you can eat. So technically the only drinks that you can have, it's a black tea, a black coffee, of course, as much water as you want to, a green tea also, but nothing that it's a fruity tea, for example, nothing that can just spike your insulin, increase the sugar level. So therefore you cannot add any milk, any fats, you cannot add anything to it. Sugar is absolutely nothing. You have to be careful also when you're taking any vitamins, any supplements as well. I never take them on empty stomach anyway, um, but also if they contain any food-like ingredients, this is gonna spike your insulin. Therefore, I'm leaving supplements for my eating window time than not eating. Please watch definitely um, Thomas Delora video about breaking the fast, how to break in fast, that you avoid like me mistake and stomach problems and allergies like I had and very painful stomach not knowing what's happening um also there's a lot of science that he just introduced you to if you like science behind it and know a little bit more um he also suggested for men and women it's a slightly different fast and he suggested because we if you of course are planning to get pregnant or pregnant already it's not advisable to do in fast because it affects our hormones a little bit again maybe just a different level of hormones so I would suggest to be really, really careful, especially if you may be going even through menopause, which I might be going through now. I'm not sure about it. I'm definitely, when everything goes back to normal, I'm gonna have my hormone checked um, because I do find it a little bit harder to lose weight than ever. <laughs> 
um, and tone up as well. So it could be a lot of to do with my hormones. So I think um, from overall experience, if it's combined with the diet, it's absolutely fantastic. And I would definitely recommend it about 16, 18 hours fast. Longer, it's, it's just really personal thing could you and please ease yourself up to it if you let's say want to start from about 16 hours and maybe add half an hour next day of a little bit longer fast or shorten the uh, the window of eating um just to kind of ease yourself to it you can start from 12 hours 13 hours every day just kind of increase a little bit more although thomas the lower for women for us he suggests only to do one day fast a week i am doing about three a week um, and I'm only doing if I feel like if I'm really really hungry um, then I do eat and I don't worry about it I'm not putting too much thought to it that I broke my fast or anything like that I don't worry about it um, just to let you know if you person like me if I have a big meal night before I wake up starving in the morning I know some of you if they have a huge meal they feel actually very full for a a long period of time i wake up hungry i'm actually absolutely starving next morning therefore i know personally if i planning to fast i'm trying to make uh, my meals quite nice and nutrition and very small night before a uh, very small in a more kind of size, calorie restrictions but not in a size um just a medium size which let's say if you notice we we ordering dinners for winners we have which are healthy dinners low calorie dinners yet they fill in enough because there's some proteins in them and vegetables and that will help me to survive till next day about let's say to eating after um if i'm planning to 18 or 20 hour fast again if also i could suggest that if you keep yourself busy like i am for example i get up first thing in the morning i exercise I um, have a, let's say, a drink of water. Sometimes I do dry fast, again, which is not recommended to do it too often. Thomas Delore has more information about it, but it's very good for inflammation. Um, um, also, so I exercise, then I record video, then I'm editing video. I actually don't even notice that 20 hours have been gone. And a coffee helps me to survive and a green tea, but, Coffee and green tea um, trigger my heart a little kind of like a flatter and palpitations. It feels like I have a little bit of butterflies in my heart. Therefore, I need to be really, really careful. Although apparently coffee helps with the fat loss, black, pure black coffee. And I've learned to drink it um, to black, black coffee, but I have to be really, really careful because I do not want to actually have those butterflies and heart palpitation, try to avoid them. Dry fasting, um, is you staying away from water, from drinking water, and you can also go to extreme and not to have it showers. Um, I've tried dry fast fasting as not drinking water and I felt great. Um, again, it was only 18 hours fast and I didn't drink the water for that time and I felt great. I didn't feel as bloated. Um, I just, just felt again a little bit more toned and feel just better in general. But again, headaches, it could be another side effect of that. And definitely first time when I was fi fasting, when I started the first time, I felt I have headaches. Um, so it's very, very hard as well. I wouldn't suggest when you're expecting your uh, time of the month. Um, it could be very difficult or before the time of the month when you have your cravings. Um, you know yourself better if you have the time of the month when you actually have no appetite. It probably would be the best time to maybe just to try it and give it a go. But please, if you're looking for the weight loss, combine with your favorite um, diet, which mine is caloric restriction and also focusing on more vegetables, less protein, less carbs, no sugars, no bread, um, mostly vegetables and a little bit of protein. And again, this is work for me, as I mentioned, for my age, um, for my body shape, um, this is what works for me. For you, maybe just to cut down on sugar would be fantastic and work very, very well, which is always suggest to everyone anyway, cut down sugar. Um, as we know, the, the artificial sugar is really, really bad for us, even stevia and, and other artificial um, sweeteners are not really good for us which I'm actually staying from 
so i hope this is just a help a little bit for you to kind of overview but please um go to uh, thomas delore youtube link down below to his website where he explained all the scientific and absolutely amazing information behind which i love listen and that's how i got my inspiration from and ideas to start intermittent intermittent fasting in the first place um also exercising um i love exercising in the morning because i that i still have an, an energy and longer i fast of course even with the adrenaline i feel 18 20 hours i feel a little bit weaker as i mentioned and dizzy therefore i would not suggest to fast but I do like to walk after food, just a gentle, nice, relaxing walk um, around our village <laughs> um, in the evening, just when I'm starting my fast. But this more kind of like intense strength training that I did this morning, I will do always in the morning. So that's it for, for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you so much for subscribing and being here with me. More kind of experience information to come. I'm sending loads of hugs to you, loads of love, and have a lovely day, and I will see you soon.